I mean, I, I want to just play for a second for you all, and just thinking about this, um, what President Biden also went on to talk about. And this is one of the first times he has addressed this. We know there were surrogates who were doing it in the past. But listen a little bit more about what he had to say. They found Donald Trump guilty on all 34 felony counts. Now he'll be given the opportunity, as he should, to appeal that decision, just like everyone else has that opportunity. That's how the American system of justice works. You know, I, on this show alone, have a series on exonerated people who have not committed the crimes that they were accused of, who have sat in prison for sometimes decades for egregious, unspeakable crimes, and they have respected the system, appealed through the actual, and while sitting in prison. This is not at all even what a former president is articulating, and now the current president talking about the reason to do so. How can this be where we are? That's a great question. I, I mean, it's, I, we're going to leave it to the American people to decide to move in a different direction come November, but I do think that the president is trying to make the point that we need to continue to respect the law, just as the congressman was saying. Like, people, we need to... to tell people this is not acceptable, this behavior is not acceptable. These, he was found guilty by a jury. He has proper things that he can do to move forward. He needs to take those steps, and that's the way it needs to happen. We need to have faith in our justice system, whether it is Hunter Biden, who's going on trial in a few weeks, or whether it's the former president. This is a justice system that we need to have faith in and what our democracy is built upon. And of course, I mean, the president of the United States, not for nothing, is the head of the executive branch, whose job it is to obviously enforce the laws, and under that is the DOJ. So I don't know how you're going to be the president and say a whole entity that you're responsible for doesn't really have any um, credibility. But how do you bring the temperature down? I mean, you have in so many... <laughs> you, gave me the, you gave me the look. I know I give you the hard question. And maybe in some respects it's a fool's errand that you can solve the problem. But we're 159 days away from a presidential election. How do you get to the point where you can bring the temperature down? First, I think we have to be very serious about this. One of the problems here, Laura, is the celebrity apprentice flair to this. This is mm. a reality show that we're all really addicted to. I used to watch the Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston thing. It was mm -hmm. awful. You remember that show? Of course I did. And I would be like, why did I watch that? But I'd go back and watch it. I think that's where we are right now. We keep watching this Donald Trump show. And in the way that we get this temperature down is to be sober and serious about one thing that I hope we all agree on as Americans. And that is that no one is above the law in this country and no one is below it either. So former President Trump has the right to appeal. He will. He is going to be sentenced in July on the 11th, which that's going to be very interesting because he could be in jail mm -hmm. before the convention. And just then, four days later, right, by the way. And that is something the country's going to have to wrestle with. What happens if this man goes to jail? Are we really going to put on the same stage? Well, debate will be over with President mm -hmm. Biden, right? But are we going to really elect someone that's in prison? Where is Secret Service agents going to stay? As Congressman Kinziger pointed out, right now Donald Trump couldn't get into the military enlisted because he's a convicted felon. How are mm -hmm. you going to be commander in chief? when you can't get into the military. And yet he is fundraising an extraordinary yes. amount of money. I think it's like $53 yes. million dollars has been already been raised by, by the calculations. Yep. Uh, a site, you know, broke down because of all of the traffic that was coming in. This has been his consistent drumbeat, that it's, you know, I'm standing in the way for you. I'll take this. He even said today, it's an honor to go through this because it's on behalf of you. When you've got that sort of messaging and the money is coming in, how do the Democrats combat that? I think it's really tough. I think it's challenging, but I think that the president needs to continue to show the contrast of the kind of person he is. His character is really makes a difference here. And I think this election really is going to be decided in, what, five or six states? There, you know, President Biden won Arizona by 10,000 votes. That is, those are votes on the margins right now. And I think those are the people who are going to make the difference in this election. So his base is going to be drummed up. He's going to raise a ton of money, which is totally great. I'm sure that President Biden is also raising money in the same way today um, off of this. But those the election will be decided on the margins, and those are the people who are going to need to pay attention, and the character issue is really going to come into play. Uh, you know, why aren't we seeing more of his family? Would that have an impact? I mean, we, Melania did not come down to be at this press conference. She was in Manhattan on the day of the verdict. She was in Manhattan, obviously, for this as well. She has not been there. She has not appeared. And she was not the most um, omnipresent prior first lady as a can in the campaign, but will we see more of her, and what impact would it have? There's an old Latin saying, 
qui tacit consitari videtur. Ooh. She who is silent when she should speak is understood to consent. That means her silence tells you everything you need to know because a wife in this situation would come and stand by her husband normally. We've seen political wives do it. Elliot Spitzer, when he was in trouble, he was getting run out. His wife stood by him in some of the worst circumstances. So I think the fact that Mrs. Trump has been absent and silent, it speaks volume. She doesn't have to say a word. You know what I love about Sophia Nelson? <laughs> and you too, Megan Hayes. But in the same conversation, we talked about Bobby Brown and Whitney. <laughs> and then she just quoted Latin in the way she did and then explained it without dropping a beat. I'm, I'm, I'm Sophia impressed. Nelson. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Sophia I'm Nelson, impressed. Megan Hayes, seven thank you so Latin, much. You seven, seven years Seven, seven years. years of Latin? Yeah, oh, now I feel sorry for Sophia Nelson. <laughs> Up ahead, will Trump face prison time? And if so, for how long? He's already spreading some lies about it. We'll talk about the reality next.